You know, of course, that our guest here today has been Chancellor Kreisky of the Republic of Austria. And in the course of our meeting in the Oval Office and our working lunch today, Chancellor Kreisky and I have had the opportunity to discuss two areas of the world that are vital to the maintenance of peace and human dignity, the Middle East and Poland. The Chancellor is a man of extensive experience in international affairs. And I'm pleased that I was able, like the seven American presidents before me, to have the opportunity to exchange views with him. Our bilateral relationship with Austria remains close and cooperative. And I was also pleased today to be able to tell him and to have his immediate approval of my intention to nominate as our next ambassador to Austria Helene von Dam, who has been with our administration from the very beginning. It's been a pleasure to welcome the Chancellor Kreisky to Washington again and to reaffirm our friendship with the Austrian people. Mr. President, I'm very happy that today I had this opportunity for an exchange of views with you. The relations between the United States and Austria are completely without frictions. They are characterized by long-lasting friendship between the two peoples and by close cooperation between the two governments. Austria today, at the time when it is prosperous and in a good position, is still grateful for all which has been done during more than 35 years by the United States. And all this has established an unshakable friendship which connects the great democracy of the United States with the small Republic of Austria. Mr. President, I am extremely grateful 
to tell you that the Austrian Republic and the government and the federal president would be happy to see Mrs. Van Damme in Austria as the next ambassador of the United States. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> and I think I'll stay here. You take the car. <laughs> Back on break. Forget it. Forget it. It's not her. It is her.